Hey guys, so what I'll be doing today is I'll be doing a tutorial on how to connect your PlayStation 3 remote to your MacBook Pro computer. Uh, now, the first thing, the stuff you're going to need is, of course, your computer, your remote, um, a USB mouse or a trackpad, um, a mini USB cable, or your charging cable that came with um, the station. I'm using a GoPro cable in this case because um, it's just mini USB, connects the same. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So, what you're going to do first is you're going to make sure your Bluetooth is on. So, what you do is you go up here. Focus. Come on, focus. All right. Well, it's right here. Let me just focus this. There we go. Uh, then you go turn Bluetooth turn Bluetooth on. Mine's already on, so it'll set your Bluetooth off. So, yeah, make sure that's on. Then what you're going to do is you're going to... Uh, take the mini USB cable and plug it in to the computer. Sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand. And then just plug the other end. Oh, make sure, sorry, I forgot to mention this, that you reset your controller first before you do any of this. Because then you just reset it. It's, it's good. Just take a little paper clip and stick it in there. I don't know. I can't even remember what I used. Um, but my paper clips were too big, I think. So yeah, I used something. If your paper clips are too big, just... I don't know. Find stuff that's small and pokey. Um, oh, use a push pin. I don't know. No, don't use a push pin. Oh, whatever. Um, so next, you're going to take the mini USB side and plug it in. To the controller. Well, I just gotta set my camera down for a minute, or my phone. Just wanna plug it in there. There we go. Now it is plugged in, and it'll be charging. Next, what you're gonna do is the PS button. Hold it for three seconds. Okay, and then disconnect it. You should see three little dots of next to the USB or no the Bluetooth thing. Um then what you're gonna do is or actually um what you're gonna do next is it'll be connected. So um now you cannot use it yet. Because if you see see the doesn't work my mouse is not moving you're gonna need an, another app to do that um so you're gonna download this get this app called joystick mapper it's five dollars on the app store so you're gonna watch that um and then what you do is basically just click i've loaded all the i made all these presets and loaded um some examples so how you basically um if you just want to start from scratch you go to add new preset and then add new joystick, and it will automatically add the one that's connected. And then new bind. And say you can just press scan. And then we can make it X. So it's like button 14. Into keyboard key. Um, let's make it into X. Okay. Uh, no, I'm just going to delete this preset because it's just, yeah. How you load all the examples is you go to uh, file and then load examples. Which is right there. Focus. There we go. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you do it. Uh, if you have any questions or this doesn't work, put them in the comments and I will answer them as best as I can. Alright, see ya. One thing I for <clears throat> just lost my voice. One thing I forgot to mention was before you still before you can use it, you have to just check one of them. So I'm just gonna use my first preset. Preset, you just click the little checkbox right there. Um, and now you can use your controller to control. If you can see my mouse there. There we go. 
So yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. And as I said, if you have any questions or anything, leave them down in the comments. I'll answer them as best as I can. Alright, bye.